Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a thrift haul for you. I went to a little consignment store in my hometown called Reclamation and it has a really cute setup. There's lots of clothing racks and everything's really uh, trendy and there's a little section for men and then the breast is all women's but I love going there whenever I'm in town just because it's really cute. I'll insert some pictures if I can find them because I didn't take any videos. I was shopping with my mom and just having a good time. Before I get into it, if you are new here, my name is Macy and I'm a full-time reseller. On this channel, I put out reselling content to help you succeed at your reselling business. So if that sounds like something that interests you, hit subscribe down below and tap that notification bell so that you know next time I put out a new video. Let's jump into the haul. This is all going to be items that I got 75% off, I believe. I don't think I paid full price for anything because their prices are actually set to what you would be able to resell something for. <laughs> so if I wanna actually make any money, I have to buy the things on sale. But 75% off can be a really good deal. First up, we have a One State size four. This is a brand that you can buy at Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, and it is new at Tags. And they are a really nice pair of faux leather skinny pants. Faux leather pants sell very quickly if you're able to find them. I highly recommend picking them up. These are originally $79 and the consignment shop had them priced at $30. So I'm just going to tell you the price on the tag because I don't feel like doing all the math for every item. But just know that uh, it's 75% off. They put these three little stars on the tag whenever it's 75% off, so they actually go in order. They, they put one star, whatever, it's 25% off, then they'll pinch a second star for 50% off, and then three stars, 75% off. So they, over time, as things aren't selling, are decreasing their prices, which is kind of cool. So if you're shopping like the normal sections in the store, you might run across a one or two star item, and then they have a whole separate section for the 75% off items. And that's where I pretty much exclusively shopped um, just because I, I want the best deals and there's good stuff in that 75% off section. But the price on the tag will give you a good idea of what it's going to sell for as well. I'm doing this new thing on Poshmark where I price my items up by 40% rather than my typical 20%. And so if I'm putting the item on the screen, then the price you see might be a little inflated. And I'm doing that just because I've been receiving so many low balls, like people offering me 50% of what I have the item listed for and then not wanting to go up much higher than that at all. So I decided, okay, I'll lean into it and I'll bump my items up by 40% and then if I receive a low ball, maybe I can just accept it. <laughs> and then I can also try sending out 30% offers instead of my typical 10% offers and then if I don't get people with the 30% offer, I can send out 40% offers. You know, there's just some things I wanted to try around it. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Next up, we have a Chaser little graphic tee with ACDC on it and some splatter paint and some also distressing details, um, holes and stuff. This is super cute. This was one of the first items that I found and I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Totally getting this. I didn't even hesitate. I didn't even look it up. Just like, yep, this is being purchased. They had it priced at 18. Uh, I can definitely sell it for more than that, I think. ACBC Let There Be Rock Distressed Tea. Yeah, I love this. And of course, if you're interested in anything, just let me know in a comment down below and I'll put it up for sale for you for my lowest price on my website. Next, we have a BKE. This brand is Buckle, a long sleeve thermal top with really fun crochet and eyelet cutout um, embroidered sleeve cuffs. So this looks like something that you would find um, from Free People. Free People is really known for this kind of thermal top with the um, interesting sleeve cuffs. And they go for a ton, so I'm curious to see how this one does. They had it priced at 20. These are super fun. A little pair of Mootsy, Mootsy? I guess that's right. <laughs> Mootsy Tootsies collection. Uh, little sandals in a size 10. 
I love these. Um, this is a very popular style of sandal right now, especially with the like clear straps and the little bow in the front. I just think these are really cool. They got like a little square um, heel in the back. Great size and a size 10. They're in really good condition. A few little scuffs on the back of the heel there but nothing too bad. I don't know where the tag for this went. It was kind of just floating around the shoes anyways, so they might have just not put it in the bag with the shoes, but I'll put up on the screen what I think these are gonna go for. Next up, we have an apricot houndstooth sheath dress. Uh, they had it priced at 20, gathered and knotted waist houndstooth dress. I just love houndstooth so much. It's hard for me to pass up. And it says it's a size UK 14 and Europe large, so um, I'm gonna have to look up what size this exactly fits in US. The tag says M, and then it goes into what the item is, so I'm not sure if they uh, put the sizing at a medium. But this is in great condition, and I'm really excited to see how it does. Just bought it based on style, not because of brand. Next up, we have a free people. This is a size extra small, and here it is. It has a little bit of a pattern going on, thin knit sweater, it's fuzzy on the sleeves. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but it was really cute, and I checked out the fabric material, and it is a wool blend. 40% acrylic, 30% nylon, 20% wool, and 10% alpaca. So the wool and alpaca sold it for me. They had it priced at 30. Just super cute little sweater. Definitely oversized. My mom was commenting about how oversized all the free people clothing is. She's like, how is that an extra small? I'm like, I know, they just wear, their stuff is oversized. That's just how it is. Oh, this is for me. The scrunchies that you see me wear, I got two of them from this consignment shop a year or two ago. I got the turquoise and I got the purple and so I decided to get another one the pink next up we have a top shop size 12 us and this is just so much fun it's a little velvet like cocktail style dress with long sleeves and rainbow little embellishment diamonds all over the dress absolutely love rainbow stuff this one I debated pretty hard on whether I should get it or not because I couldn't find any comps for it. It's open back. It's just so much fun. I couldn't leave it behind. And it's a good size. They had it priced at $38.50, which I think makes sense. Oh wow, I forgot about this one. Okay, we got an Alice and Olivia. It's a size two, I think, black ruffled with a bow at the waist little sheath dress mini dress really thick quality material has a little zipper in the back with some velvet around it this was just way too cute not to buy <laughs> i saw this and i'm like oh my goodness this is adorable how could i possibly leave this behind they had a price at 70 dollars Alice and Olivia is quite an expensive brand, so I'm hoping this dress does well. Next up, we have a Free People Beach. It is a long sleeve, kind of rust red color, a little oversized ruffle hem dress, just a shift dress. There's no waistline. It's kind of like a thin burnout. Oh, not quite burnout, but it does have like a texture, thin material. Sleeves are kind of fun with the little like balloon style. They only had this price at $20. One bag done. Also, how cute is their branding? I believe that they also have things for sale online as well. I was asking the, I think she might be the owner because I always see her working there and she's like the only person there sometimes, so. Um, I was asking her how things were over the pandemic and everything and she said that even with what was happening they were still able to grow last year over the year before that so I'm like wow that's awesome and she said that online sales had also increased quite a lot even though they had to shut down for a few months they still 
did pretty well. And so I just thought that was really cool that they, uh, they still managed to succeed because I don't want them to go under. I really like shopping at this place whenever I'm coming into the area. Here is a Staring at Stars, which is an Urban Outfitters brand. I absolutely love this sweater. I love the design. I love that it's like this fuzzy material. I'm sure this has a name that I just don't know. <laughs> um, it's a size large. They had it priced at $25. It's in great shape. There were a few sweaters there and I was a little bit choosy about which ones that I got. Here is the next item. Uh, Aaron Crafts Ireland 100% Merino Wool Cable Knit Sweater. It is a size extra large, which is an awesome size for this. I always find it in like extra small or small. So finding Aaron Crafts in a bigger size is really exciting. They had it priced at $45. And this is that kind of, and this is that Irish knit that does really well in the winter time. So I'm not expecting this to sell for a while. It is super warm, super thick but I think in a few months it will sell very fast. Oh, that took up most of the space in that bag. <laughs> so this is the last item. Um, it's a Meister, kind of a fun word to say. Try saying that sometime, Meister. <laughs> Reminds me of that song from Christmas time. They had this priced at $25 and I just really thought the material was super nice and I love this like quarter zip style with a little bit of a pattern going around it and at the end of the sleeves. I wish this was my size so that I could just keep it, but it is an extra large. <laughs> so I don't think it's gonna work for me, but hopefully it does well for somebody else. All right, so not the biggest haul for you guys, but hopefully you like the items that I picked up from this little consignment store. Going to consignment shops around my area is actually something that I wanna do a lot more of in the next coming months. So you'll see a lot of different uh, thrift with me's and thrift hauls showing off the various consignment stores and thrift shops around the Pittsburgh area as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like down below. It really helps my channel and it means the world to me. And if you haven't already and you're enjoying my reselling content, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. Let me know if you like to source at all at consignment stores and what your strategy is for sourcing at consignment stores. I would love to know some tips if you have any on how I can go to consignment stores and get the best bang for my buck because um, it is a higher cost of goods typically and I can't just buy everything that I like because <laughs> consignment stores are just chock full of great brands and things that would resell well but you have to be so picky because the prices are usually substantially more than what you're going to be paying at a uh, Goodwill or something. Alright guys, I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!